Hello everyone. I would like to start this off by apologizing. I would like to apologize to all the girls that I called pretty before calling them smart or courageous. From now on, I start calling girls extraordinary or marvelous, and not because they're not pretty, but because they are so much more than that. This actually reminds me of something that happened a couple of weeks ago. I was at our high school and uh, a friend of mine asked me if I wanted to go to the store with her. And of course I went there with her. And as she stood in line, I took a couple of steps back and I was just staying there, scrolling throughout my phone and wasting my time. And I noticed that a teacher also joined that line. And I knew what was about to happen, but when it actually did, it shocked me and not in a positive way, because there was nothing positive about it. The teacher told my friend that uh, she shouldn't be dressing that way, that she's distracting others bo other boys, and she basically went on to slut shame her for wearing a dress that shows this much skin. And I feel like in the 21st century, as a woman, you shouldn't be uh, tearing other girls down, young girls, when you're supposed to be a role model. You should be propping them up, and you should be inspiring them. And I was really mad by what what she, done, she had done. And of course my friend was too, she was starting to cry and she was feeling really upset. But uh, when we got to the classroom, I was pleasantly surprised by the reaction that our classmates had. Everyone started cheering her on and they started saying that, no, you look beautiful, don't worry about what other people say, you don't need to worry about boys when picking an outfit. And this really made me think like, Wow, there's such a big difference in the way that our generation thinks compared to the older generation. For example, let's say 15 years ago, girls and women did not, were not put in position of power in our society. They were only viewed as eye candy. And nowadays, women are not only heard, but they are also seen. And we have women working in engineering and in academics, and we have athletes in the Olympics, and we have soldiers in the military, and women actually play a big role in our society, and they keep inspiring people. And unfortunately, that wasn't the case in the past. And we need to realize that in order for this revolution to happen nowadays, there was a solid base of foundation of women whose names we'll probably never know, who had to face struggles, and who went through so much blood, sweat, and tears in order to pursue their dreams. And um, we actually do have a couple of examples whose names are pretty well known. Uh, for example, uh, one that comes to my mind is Ellen DeGeneres, who was one of the first female comedians to be recognized worldwide. worldwide. She was so successful, but in 1998, when she decided to come out as a lesbian, her show got cancelled, her friends left by her side, and she basically lost everything, and she lost herself for a couple of years. Fortunately, in 2003, she came back and she started a very own talk show, and ever since, she keeps inspiring all of us. She, and she's always giving to the poor ones, she's always making charities, and she's an icon for the LGBT community and for women worldwide, and she's also helping animals, and I think that's awesome. Another example of a really inspiring woman is Oprah, who is just this amazing person. I think everyone knows Oprah and everyone would want to be like Oprah, especially since she has such a good heart and she's always helping others. And she did it all by herself. She overcome her, uh, the issues that she had in life and she became iconic. <laughs> uh, another example, and the last one that I'm going to mention, is uh, our Romanian icon, uh, Nadia Comaneci, who went from being a regular student, a normal person, to making history and to creating a legacy just like that. And she did it all by herself, and she worked really hard to achieve that thing. And I feel like that's really inspiring, but at the same time, I really want to look up to a future and I want my children to see a future in which women making history in certain, in certain areas of work are not historical moments, it's not something wow for women to achieve something or to do something. I want it to become normal. Winning a Nobel Prize, it shouldn't be a woman won a Nobel Prize, it should be just a Nobel Prize winner. And um, I'm going to sum this up by uh, referring to a saying that one of the women that I mentioned before said, 
Actually, Ellen said it. She said that the world is the most powerful thing a human being can use because with just one word you can do so much good, but also with one word you can do so much bad. And I think that we all should think before we speak, and I feel like we should use our words to inspire each other and to spread positivity and love throughout the world.